I'm involved in Systems Committee of VDC. I am uh, the P member for Kenya. And I'm also involved in uh, TC82. So I participate in MIRA committees uh, for Technical Committee 82 in Kenya. And I represent Kenya in um, AFSEC too. So I had of the Young Professionals program from my national committee. And I wanted to join it because I am the chairperson of the Young Professionals program in AFSEC. That is the African Electrotechnical Standardization Commission. And one of the things that I've been trying to do in AFSEC is to streamline um, the job, is to streamline our work as young professionals in Africa, and also to get more young people involved in standardization activities. In terms of encouraging women, I, I'd like to face it the other way around. When it comes to women participating, what I've had is some really great support from men. And what I would like to encourage the IEC is to provide mentorship activities by the men holding senior positions in um, uh, TCs to mentor this, the women who want to come into the sector. Yes. So for women, there are opportunities. You just have to find the right mentor, but I feel like the mentorship is, is a job for IEC. Yeah, personally, the workshop has helped me kind of meet a lot of people. The last few days have been very great and meeting it's not normal it's not I normally don't get to meet a lot of young people in the standard sector and sometimes I'm even the only young person and also the only woman in the room so it was very you know it was very different this time around meeting um, quite a number of young people and it was very encouraging for me I've been growing quite a lot and I feel like the YP program has expanded my knowledge in terms of what the IEC does if you want to participate in standardization activities, you have to start by being of value to your national committee. When it comes to standardization, what Africa needs most right now is capacity building and the system level standards. So I feel like um, uh, the current goals of the IEC and what my organization, because we do capacity building and um, research and testing. So the, both, all the three branches of my organization kind of merge somewhere with um, some, a lot of things that the IEC is doing. As academia, we're always looking to inform policy and uh, all policy from the point of research and training people to get more skills. And I think for my organization, this is a very good uh, front for them because it gets our name out there and at the same time, our vision and mission as, a, um, as an organization. For us, being one of the few laboratories in Africa that are doing solar PV and battery testing, it's really important that you know, um, we actually understand how the IEC processes work because we're implementing IEC standards adopted by Kenya.